I want him to smell my breath, smell my tension. If I haven't showered in three days, I want him to smell the must. Fight fans, welcome back. And, and understand that I'm here for a dog fight. When a fighter faces a humiliating defeat, learning harsh lessons is a vital part of the rebuilding process. Te preparas para ganar. Esa noche me tocó perder. Ready? It don't matter if I had Jesus in my corner. God had that plan. Some drift into obscurity and never recover, while others return stronger, growing into the legends we have known throughout boxing history. This, in the view of Mexican fans, is the future. He's getting ready to fight one of the most turbulent and violent forces in boxing. Competing against an unpredictable banger, a troubled man born to fight on both sides of the ropes. Red boy by the watch out. It was a night when destructive dominance was needed more than ever before. Houston, we got a problem on May the 9th, cause the beast is gonna be loose. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. I said, can you uh, box? He said, no, but I sure can fight. Floyd, there's no clear path for anybody to fight you next. Would you consider giving him a rematch based on his performance? In early 2015, the imperious Floyd Mayweather Jr. still ruled the roost around 147 to 154 pounds. Well, love him or love him, and his personal issues have been well documented. One can't deny the artistry on his chosen canvas, the 20 by 20 foot theater of truth. Picking his fights with the meticulous privilege of an unrivaled superstar, trailing in Floyd's wake was a host of challengers and champions. A bit of everything, because I know that he's not on my level. The fans would love to see the fight. And of course, um, I want to go out with a bang. To be honest, I'm looking forward to destroying Mr. Floyd Money Mayweather. If you want it, come get it. If not, we will move forward. The, the Mayweather fight might be there for me. Therefore, it just seems to me that Mayweather is afraid of he might just not never want to fight me. Having been comprehensively out-hustled by Mayweather nearly two years previous, Look at this, the play. Saul Canelo Alvarez was on a road to rediscover his star power. And Canelo Alvarez wants to come back and show the world what he is all about, how exciting he is, how good he is, and how the world, the future of boxing, is all ahead of him. Two victories in 2014 started the rebuilding process. First, a confidence-building 10th round knockout of fellow Mexican warrior Alfredo El Perro Angulo. Followed by a split decision victory over the tricky Arislande Laura. He just wants to tell Canelo Alvarez that he did it better against Austin Trout tonight than what Canelo did with Trout, and that he wants to fight him, of course. It was a fight that his team preferred to avoid, but Canelo stepped up to earn a close, debatable verdict over the Cuban. Canelo has a lot of trouble with guys that move a lot. We've seen you move when you were with Pedro Diaz and other fights as well. To beat Canelo Alvarez, you feel that you have to move in the fight. Canelo's next opponent was expected to be the main man up at middleweight, Puerto Rican powerhouse Miguel Cotto. But with so much on the line, agreeing terms would prove difficult. Whether you're Mexican or Puerto Rican or it's just a great fight and uh, but they Cotto and Gabby uh, refused the offer. When negotiations with Cotto broke down a dangerous slugger entered the fray. The Mandingo Warrior. 31 years old with 32 wins 28 big knockouts and an appetite for excitement. Shorts doubling up with the back pound goes Vera bigger and bigger off. advantages Don't by the ready. round. Step forward, James Kirkland. Well, if Kirkland continues this okay, and can apply the finisher, a star is reborn. Having risen through the ranks feasting on the usual prospect diet of journeymen and contenders, Kirkland's aim was to obliterate anyone in his path. Everybody gave me that Tyson momentum and that name because my style was 
kind of like his. After losing his unbeaten record to Nobuhiro Ishida in 2011, he gets caught on a quick counter right inside and goes down. Kirkland is a sitting duck for Ishida's right hand. There it is again. Joe Cortez is stopping the fight. Kirkland had revitalized his career and put himself on course for Canelo collision. Jay to the referee, steps in and he stops it, and he's done absolutely the right thing, and James Kirkland is back! He was about six years old, and he was out throwing rocks. I said, can you uh, box? He said, no, but I sure can fight. Trained by former champion Ann Wolf, Kirkland had endured a troubled upbringing that led to constant violent brushes with the law. And I went to James and I said, look, man, you got too much of potential just to sit out and do nothing. I said, let's, let's try. Let's try to try. These issues would continue into his professional career and negatively impact his progression. He was caught by a gun. October 2010, he was re uh, released to a halfway house. Uh, to January this year. Devastating mistake. I was on the urge of getting a world title shot. Blew it. A lot of personal issues going on. It's gonna, it's gonna bring you down. What am I gonna do? You know, I'm gonna let this take my dream. Never. A great fight. Action packed. Your money's worth. I mean, it's. These are the types of fights that uh, that that we want to see. No stranger to lengthy spells of inactivity. An injured shoulder had pushed the Canelo scrap out of reach years before it eventually happened. When they finally met, Kirkland had been out of practice for 17 months. About four years ago, you might have said, wow, is it still wow in your mind? Wow, uh, Kirkland's people took this fight. Struggling himself with a troublesome ankle injury that had already killed off a potential battle against Joshua Claudi, Canelo regrouped, rolled the dice, and once again backed himself in a high-risk encounter. So that's what I got to worry about is completing my test and my task at hand. He's never faced someone like Canelo Alvarez, but vice versa. Canelo Alvarez never faced someone as dangerous as James Kirkland. Just one week after Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao had finally battled to define a generation, Canelo was intent on cementing his position as the sport's third biggest draw. El rival is one of the most dangerous in the division, and for me, it's important to ir peleando and winning with all these strong rivals. I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going I'm to attack him. I'm going to be aggressive, but uh, I got to do it and be smart. So that's the key is uh, I got to be smart, but I will be aggressive. I'm going to be motivated for this fight, but I'm going to be able to get it if it's not bad. While Texas was always the preferred location, Canelo's then promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, toiled to nail down an exact venue and date before Houston was secured. Especially have to thank Saul Canelo Alvarez, who wanted to come to Houston, Kirkland, who accepted and wanted this fight. I know with determination, sacrifice, and true will that I can overcome everything. Houston, we got a problem on May the 9th, because the beast is going to be loose. But this should be a, this should be a fight. Yeah, this is this one right here. What is James mind something think coming in? I mean, James is a killer. He got some of those same demons Mike had. While Kirkland's new promoter 50 Cent was expecting a fight of the year candidate, his boxer was about to enter the ring without corner linchpin and wolf for the first time since 2011. Well, there's been a lot of talk about him switching camps, a lot of ignorance kind of floating around on the boxing internet. And you keep asking about it, it's, it's kind of frustrating that I don't want to get upset about it. Okay, let's so, talk about yeah, um, yeah. With all of the fitness and focus Wolf brought to the table, her absence would be felt against such a rampant opponent. My question is what made him special to watch coming up was this level of ferocity that you don't see from other guys. Well, when you come train with the Punisher, it ain't gonna be nothing else but we're gonna whoop some ass. If it goes past four or five, red boy better watch out. I don't wanna see him get beat. A little red him can fight. He done fought some of the best. If he goes to them deep waters, that's when James gets stronger. I wanna be on, on him so close, it's gonna feel like we're, you know, and I want him to smell my breath, smell my tension. If I haven't showered in three days, I want him to smell the must and understand that I'm here.
for a dog fight. When he is right, James Kirkland is probably the most exciting fighter in boxing. I know he's going to move, but the point is how long can you move the way I'm coming? You know, because when you find out that you can't run, <laughs> you will do anything to try to stop the heat. There is more pressure than ever on Canelo Alvarez. Canelo's a little too smart for me. Too smart for me because Kirkland just fights one way. Um, Canelo knows how to box. I, I think that Canelo wins this fight. Despite being in Kirkland's home state, the Houston arena was awash with the vibrant colors and sounds of Mexico. If you love action, wake up, because more likely than not, one of these two is about to go to sleep. True to his word, Kirkland came out blazing, aggressively placing Canelo under pressure. Lands a left, lands another left. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland, and he's stuck in the corner. Immediately, 50 Cent's projection looked likely. The boxing stance. Just got hurt there with the hook. Both fighters have been hurt in round one. Canelo had other ideas. The Mexican hero was quick to neutralize Kirkland's hostility by exposing his limited boxing IQ. I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope a that tells you how hurt he must be. Slipping and sliding away from heavy bombs, Canelo dropped his foe with a right hand. Right hand. Down goes Kirkland. Only guts and determination helped Kirkland survive. And Canelo has gotten comfortable. And Canelo can't miss with the straight right hand. He's doing the same thing that Pacquiao did last week. He's staying right in the wrong distance to win the fight. Trading heavy leather through a rampant second session while relying on his superior durability, Canelo raked head and body to hurt Kirkland and drop him again with a right uppercut in the third. Tell him to there he is. Seconds later, Brave Kirkland was finished off with a peach of an overhand right that caught him unawares and ended the mauling. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez, the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. Classy Canelo had delivered box office boxing. Kirkland is a great fighter. We knew he was going to come and throw punches. You know, at the beginning, we were both a little exhausted. But I knew it would happen. I knew we would win the fight. As I say, you know, he's a crappy fighter. You know, he come with a lot of skill. Uh, take nothing away from him. He was just on his P's and Q's. After the 2015 shellacking, Kirkland slumped into obscurity as his priorities changed. Returning to the ring four years later, despite rekindling his relationship with Ann Wolfe, the magic was clearly gone. Uh, Jazz Tips has caught Kirkland a couple of times. In late 2020, still attempting to rediscover his old form, the Texan was caught cold, dropped three times, and ruthlessly exposed in a single round. Missed out, and this fight could be done. For me, that was tough to see. I mean, when I turned pro, this is the guy I was watching, and literally fearful, like, I don't want to fight this guy. And to see him now at this point, someone's got to tell you, like, hey, enough's enough. Blessed with tremendous heart throughout his career, Kirkland's defensive vulnerabilities prevented him from reaching the very top. A thrill-a-minute warrior who guaranteed entertainment, James Kirkland will be fondly remembered as one of the most exciting fighters of his time. Kirkland is an animal. I think Kirkland is the kind of guy, he can go out there and just, pardon my French, he can kill him. I mean, he brings that killer mentality. On this occasion, Canelo was simply a different class. I want to make history yes. in boxing, and I'm sure I will. Lakad Matatag, Normalin, Normalin. Jack, we're so sorry to hear of your friend's passing. Please accept our deepest condolences and the well wishes of everyone who tunes in to each Motivedia presentation.